G'day folks, it's Cortezarino, and welcome to part two of the Chinese Palace tutorial. And just a little bit of a sneak peek of what we will have completed by the end of this episode. Okay guys, let's pick up where we left off, and the first thing we're going to do is come onto the inside of our palace. And I want you to grab some dark oak slabs. And we're just going to run a big ring or a big rectangle of these slabs all the way around the inside of the building. And we're just placing them against the bottom half of that spruce log right there. And once you've done that, you can come along to each corner. And we're just going to put a stripped acacia log facing straight up in all four corners. And then once you've done that, grab some jack o' lanterns and we're going to run a big ring of them all the way around. Just at this level here, so coming down on the diagonal from those dark oak slabs. So just go ahead and put all of those in. That's very essential light for our building. Now, uh, if you're going to be putting something underneath, you might want to leave all the jack o' lanterns there, but I'm going to knock two of them out. I'm going to knock out one here, just in line with that log on the side of the doorway, and another one in line with that log. So we've got five in the middle. And I'm just going to replace these with stone because I'm not going to see them. And on top of the stone, I'm going to put another dark oak slab. And now I want you to grab your brown carpet and dark oak trapdoors. And we're going to come along with the trapdoors. And on top of these blocks right here, we are going to put the trapdoors. So the light will still shine up through those. And if you're going to be building underneath, you can probably put a ladder going down underneath one of these trapdoors. Now for the rest of the jack o' lanterns, we are going to cover these up with brown carpet. And that's how you should look when you're done, guys. So now we are going to do the entrance. So we'll place an acacia door and sit yourself inside the building looking out when you place that door and place it right in the middle on top of that spruce log. Then grab some spruce logs here and we're going to add five more to this pillar. So that's three, four, five and five more to this pillar. And then across the top, we're just going to connect them like that. Now we're gonna grab some red glazed terracotta. And if you remember when we were placing these yellow ones last episode, we placed them all from the inside of the building looking out. Well, with the red terracotta, we're gonna place it from the outside of the building looking in. And that way all our patterns look exactly the same. So we're going to place one, two, three, just like that. Now, if you've got the material list from the description of the first episode, it doesn't contain shroom lights. My original, my original design had uh, glowstone here, but I just tried it with shroom lights and it looks so much cooler. So perhaps you'd want to use them, but you can use glowstone if you like. So we're just going to put two there with two acacia trapdoors on that side and two on this side and I always place them like this so we've got that darker bit down the bottom. So now we'll grab our spruce logs again and we'll run a line of them across like that and then a pillar on each side of the door and then we will just plop one facing sideways over the door like that. Now you can grab some acacia fences and we'll put three in that gap and three in that gap. And while we have our spruce logs in hand, what we're going to do is just run around to each of these logs sticking up and we are going to add five more logs on top of it. So it's the same height as our entrance. So just go ahead and do that all the way around our building. And that's how you should be looking when you're done, guys. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build all of these little square towers. So we've got six of those squares and uh, they are all identical. So I've already started one here. It's exactly the same on every single side. So we've got that first level of the cobble and the polished andesite. The next level is going to be stone bricks and just leave these hollow on the inside. You'll see there's nothing in there. So the second level is stone bricks. Then we move to the chiseled bricks. So you can have four on each side with three andesite walls in between. Then the fourth layer is stone bricks again. 
The fifth layer is exactly like that bottom layer there, so the cobblestone and the polished andesite, and then finish off with stone brick stairs running all the way around. So once that's all done, come to the inside and at the level of our cobblestone and polished andesite, we're just going to put down a bunch of stone bricks and make a little platform. Then come along to each corner and in the corner we're going to go stone brick, chiseled stone brick and then a polished andesite. So just go ahead and do that in each corner. And once you've done all four of those, come along to the bottom here and we're just going to place three stone bricks in between each of those pillars. Now in the middle of these, we're going to put two stone bricks just like that. So go around and put one of these on every single wall and then grab some stone brick slabs and just place a slab on top of all of those. Now staying with our slabs, we are going to put one on top of the stone brick in between each pillar. So we're going to do two of these on each side and then grab some stone brick stairs and looking from the, the outside of the building, looking in, we're going to place them upside down just between the two pillars, just like that. So go ahead and do that on each side. And then your towers are done. So all of the, all six of them, the four corners and those two in the middle of the long walls, they're all going to look like that. Uh, what I will mention though is at night time there's not going to be enough light inside of these to stop the beasties spawning. So in the corner towers I'd recommend just knocking out this block in the middle and maybe put in a glowstone or something with some grey carpet on top. Or you might want to be a little bit more adventurous and do something like a barrel with a lantern on top just to make each of them look a little different. But they all will need some sort of light in there. And don't worry that there's no way to get up to the top of the tower yet. We will put that in later on. So just go ahead and build all six of those. Now we're going to turn our attention to the front gate. And you will notice it is exactly the same as that one over there. Just a slightly different shape. So go ahead and put in these first levels. It's exactly the same as what we've just done. The only difference is when you get to the stone brick stairs up the top, we're going to run them all the way around. But uh, the two walls in the middle, we're just going to leave them bare. So just go ahead and build that up like you can see that just there. Just pause the video and go ahead and build it. And once you've done that guys, we are going to put in a little platform here. This one is going to be at the same height as those stairs at the top. So just build that all the way across using just plain old stone. And then once you've done that, grab some stone bricks and go ahead and just mix in a bunch of these randomly. Okay, by now you should have all of your towers in place and the start of our front gate. But what we're going to do is come to the in. You can see I've put the walls up already. We'll get to that in a moment. But we're going to come to the inside and put in the floor. So the easiest thing to do is just to start with polished andesite blocks. And I'd use blocks just in case you're building underneath. You want to look up and be able to see these lights in the roof. Uh, if you use slabs, it would look a little bit weird. Just fill in the entire floor with the polished andesite blocks. And then once you've done that, you can come along and start knocking out and replacing some others. So the first thing we're going to do is put in some smooth stone blocks. And you can see we're just coming in. We're skipping a block and then the second one in from the corner. We're putting in one of them and then we're just putting in one every second block and just do a great big ring around the outside of the floor. And I was going to explain every single block here, but it is probably easier just to pause the video right here and copy this. Okay guys, so now we are going to do all of our walls. And just before I show you each side so you can copy it, just remember that when you're placing your glazed terracotta, to place these from the outside looking in and that way they are all facing in the same direction. And then when you place your acacia trapdoors, you can come on the inside right here and just hold shift and go one, two, three, 
and then flick them all up. So we've already got all of our upward facing pillars in place. You're going to use spruce logs again to do our cross beams and then just fill in the windows and continue the the red terracotta just like that. So we you can pause the video here. That is what the front wall looks like. And this is the back wall. And then these are the side walls and both side walls are identical. And then the last thing to do for the inside of the palace is to add more stripped acacia to these logs we've got on the floor. So I want you to add nine more. So they will all be ten blocks tall in total. So do it for the six in the middle of the floor, but don't forget these ones in the corners. You're also adding an extra nine to these. So you're going to have a whole bunch of ten block tall pillars. And now we're going to do the archway for our gate. So come along to the inside here and you can see this level here with the cobblestone and the polished andesite. What we're going to do is on the one, the polished andesite on the corners there, we're just going to put a stone brick and then put upside down stone brick stairs between them. So I'll do the same on this side. So bricks on the corners and five upside down stairs right there. Now on these corner bricks, underneath we're going to put an upside down stair and then another one right there. And just go ahead and do that for all four of these. And once those are in, grab some stone brick slabs and we're just going to connect the two stairs at the top just like so. Now grab your stone brick stairs again and you can see we've got this ring of them going around the top. We're just going to continue that across there so it connects to the other one. Same on this side. And then we're just going to fill in the floor like we did before. So I'm just going to place all stone blocks first and then mix in my stone bricks. But you'll probably want to, if you're doing this in survival, you'll probably want to place them as you're going. But we're just going to randomize that a bit. And that is our archway, well, for the time being, complete. Okay, moving on to the next step, and we're going to stay with the gate for the moment. So come on to the inside, and we're going to put some doors in. So I've put one in there. We'll go over to the left-hand side here and knock out those two blocks, and we'll replace that dirt with some stone bricks. We'll put a spruce door there, but we'll place it from the inside of the building. So it looks like that from the outside. And then you can go ahead and fill in the floor with stone and stone bricks. And for some light, I'm just going to put two andesite walls right there with lanterns on top. And then on the right hand side, we're going to put a ladder right here with an acacia trapdoor right up the top. Now on the other side, it is exactly the same, except that the ladder is going to be on the left hand side. And once your ladders are in, that is where your trapdoors should be appearing. So the next thing we're going to do is build a rectangle of polished andesite blocks around the top. And these blocks are just going directly on top of the stairs below. So once you've got that rectangle in, in each corner we're going to put red sandstone walls. So we're just putting three of them with a cobblestone block on top. So go ahead and build one of those in each corner. And then we're going to put in these stripped acacia logs, eight of them in total, just there. And then you can go ahead and add three more acacia to each of those. So they are four blocks tall in total. And then on top of them, we are going to build this. So I've done that one. We've got three more to go. So to start with, we're going to start with acacia stairs, just like that, and then connect them with three acacia logs. And then come underneath, put an upside down stair and another. So just like that. So that's two. Do it two more times. And then grab yourself some dark oak planks, and we're going to build a big rectangle all the way around just at the same height as our cobblestone blocks. So we're just building it all the way around like that. And then we are going to switch to cobblestone slabs. And what we're going to do in each corner is we're just going to place two there 
and two there and then put a temporary one one on top and break the one below and we're just doing that pattern in each corner so we'll do another one over here two on each side one flipping up and then to connect them we're just going to put cobblestone slabs all the way along the bottom like that so we'll do it in one more corner over here so two at the top of the uh, of the dark oak one flicking up in the corner and then the connecting line is at the bottom half of the dark oak so just continue doing that all the way around okay so now come up the top and grab some acacia stairs and we're just going to put them in line with those acacia stairs that are already there so just keep running that all the way along and when you get to the corners just on top of this cobblestone block we're going to put a dark oak stair there instead but then continue around with the acacia dark oak stair in the corner and just keep going around until you've done a full loop and once you've completed that i want you to grab some glowstone and we're going to put one right here on top of that acacia log with an acacia trapdoor facing out toward the side and we'll do the same up this end glowstone and trapdoor so now we're going to start with some dark oak stairs we're going to put one on each side of our glowstone just like that same on this side and then we're just going to run acacia stairs between the the two dark oak stairs just like that and the same on this side and then to finish it's pretty simple grab your dark oak stairs again come along to the middle and we're going to put one stair on top of that glowstone and another on top of that glowstone and then just against the bottom half of the dark oak stairs we're going to place dark oak slabs and run that all the way along so the final thing to do for our gateway here is just to put some lights in and we're going to do that with lanterns so just looking from the outside of the building Against these acacia pillars, we are going to put four lanterns on that side and then four on this side. And that is our gateway 100% complete, guys. So now we're going to turn our attention to the walls. And this is just a nice, easy repeating pattern that you can... Uh, well, I'll show you this bit and you can go ahead and copy it all the way around. So we're leaving our polished andesite on the bottom, but we're going to build these little pillars up on each side. And the first one begins one block away from our little castle tower. So we've got a gap, and then it's stone bricks, chiseled stone bricks, and stone bricks again. Just keep doing that every second one until we get to the other side, and there should be a gap there as well. And do the same above uh, the other line of andesite. And then connecting them up the top, we're going to put jack-o'-lanterns for light. So once you've done all of that in between each of these, what we're going to do is put a right way up stair down the bottom, stone brick stair. Up the top, we're going to put an upside down stone brick stair with an andesite wall in between and just keep doing that in between each gap and do that on both sides. Now I originally built this wall in 1.14 so all our andesite walls would look like that but now in 1.16 they will be a lot flatter you won't get that little pokey up bit at the top. So you can leave it like that if you want but if you want to put it back to the way it was in my original building all you have to do is come onto the inside here and just under our jack lens just run a line of stone bricks all along and uh, the walls will then connect to those and look like they did in the original. So then you can come up the top guys and just place a stone brick in between each of those jack lens and then so the light can still shine up we're going to run a single line of light grey carpet all the way down the middle. And then to finish off the top, we just need stone bricks and cobble walls. So our stone bricks are going to be like this, just uh, placing them every second block. And we're placing them above the andesite walls that are below. So it's just like that. And then we are connecting those with our cobblestone walls. So go ahead and do this on each side of this line of carpet. Okay, so that's what a single wall segment looks like. 
go ahead and build that all the way around. Okay, so now we're going to do a bit more work inside of our palace. So the first thing you can do is grab some red carpet and just place a nice three wide rug directly on top of that uh, rectangle of jack o lanterns that we had in the floor. Then you can look over to our front door here and we're just going to put some ladders up to the next level. Now if I was using this as a base, uh, I would probably have a, a, a soul sand bubble elevator to get me up to the next level, but at least while we're building you're probably going to want ladders. So we're just going to place one on each side right there. And then come up the top and you can grab some dark oak stairs and we're going to put two just where you can see them right there. And then all the way around the top of our building we just want to spawn proof this. So on top of the, the spruce pillars place a dark oak trapdoor. So place one of those just on top of each of those pillars and also in the corner blocks. And then just fill up the rest with brown carpet so we don't get any mobs spawning. Okay, so we're going to come up our ladders and then go up a little staircase. So in between these stairs, just run five dark oak planks. And then we're going to put a stair right there with an upside down stair behind it, just like that. And we'll do the same on this side, stair and upside down stair. Now on top of the two upside down ones, we are just going to put another dark oak stair and then a dark oak planks connecting them. Just like that. And now what you want to do, guys, is come along to the outside of the building and we're going to do a great big ring of upside down dark oak stairs. So we'll start against the planks right here. That's the height that they are going to be at. So you're just going to run this the entire way around our building. Just like that, guys. So that is how you should be looking when you're done. And then finally, guys, you may have noticed, but I forgot to mention it, we're going to put some grey carpet just on top of all of these jack-o'-lanterns in the floor. And we are going to leave it here for today, guys. A lot more building for you to do. Those walls will take quite a while. I don't know if anyone noticed, but about halfway through recording that episode, I finally, after all these years, bought myself a quiet mouse. Listen to this. You can't hear it, can you? It is awesome, but suddenly my keyboard is sounding really loud, so maybe I'll do something something about that one day. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Cortezarino. I'll see you later.